One of the real keys when you got this setup going is to use a reel with a clicker. Why? Well, basically that's gonna be your strike detector. We've got Eagle Claw slip floats that, you know, you're gonna see those go under, but if you don't happen to be looking at the time, you'll hear tink, 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 tink. And like Steve said, with a quick strike rig, I mean, basically you gotta set the hook right away. Those fish won't be hooked deep. They'll be healthy, ready to release and get bigger and bigger. And as you can see, these fish are getting bigger. That's Fisher. Oh boy, good one, good one, oh boy, good one, Edie. Oh, if you see the size of this brute. Oh, it's a giant dude, look at it. Oh man, oh what a beast. Stay in the net, stay in the net. Oh, it's a triple sow cow. That right there is the kind of pike that we got in playing. Come out here to Saskatchewan to get. Oh, another fish, another fish. We got a fish on here. We got a tangle. Steve is getting that one. Oh, there we go. You know you're in a good spot. When Steve's on hooking that big one I just caught, whew, and I was nice enough to, gra to grab his rod and help him out because <laughs> he was busy. But I'll trade you now. <laughs> Look at the size of that beast. And you know you're out with a good guide when you know he's willing to let you hold this one. <laughs> And he holds that one. <laughs> Tobin Lake double header. Awesome. Man, oh man. The crazy thing is look at the gut on this thing. Oof. This dude is munching. Tobin Lake Saskatchewan. Whew. Twin Marine and Outpost. Oh, that's all you need to know, baby. Oof. Oh my word. Whew. I thought he was tired, but uh, he didn't he didn't get the memo. Whew.